This FMS Kingfisher is by far the RCI plane I've flown the most time. I think I have way above 100 flights on this one. And so far I've only flown this one uh, uh, with floats on. So it's time for me to do a really <laughs> maiden flight with uh, wheels on this uh, lovely FMS Kingfisher. So let's head out to the flying field and see if it uh, you know, still rocks this FMS Kingfisher. It's a really lovely morning to get this kingfisher in there. In all aspects, this is a great flying RS airplane. I might wish for this one to have a little bit more roll authority so you could do snappier rolls but you can also do 4S batteries of this RSI plane because I swapped the EC inside so I have an AVN EC inside which does support up to 6S batteries and with 4S batteries you do get a little bit more performance but I think even on 3S is just a fantastic flying RSI plane and I mean, I could co compare this one to the, for instance, the Tundra, Prime Tundra, a new one from Hobby King. But uh, I mean, it's a really ridiculous comparison in my opinion, because first off, these are similarly priced RC airplanes. And with this one, you do get floats and skis. You have a better set of landing gears, in my opinion, on this Kingfisher. I think the, the build is easier on the Kingfisher uh, and I think it's more fun to fly. So uh, I mean uh, it's just uh, a total win for this Kingfisher compared to the Prime Tundra. I also like the design of this one. It is... I mean they are really similar the Tundra and this Kingfisher uh, in how the fuse is uh, designed. Uh, but um, I think that the, I mean, it's just one of my favorite RS airplanes. I did actually crash this one once when I had it on floats. So it was due to a faulty elevator servo. And I've actually replaced, I think, at least one of the aileron servos because it started to jitter. But uh, I mean, I've had some issues with the servos on FMS RS airplanes. So that is something to be aware of. But I mean, uh, when, when I had this crash, the, the plane just went belly up, ended up uh, upside down on the water. Uh, so I thought that it would be you know, damaged, but uh, nothing else happened except I had to replace the servo. It was a little bit fiddly, but I mean, it's just fantastic. If you have, I think I'm almost up to 120 flights on this RC airplane and with only one crash and the plane survived. I think that just speaks volumes about how great this RC plane is to fly. And also slow flying performance is excellent. If you engage flaps, it just crawls through the sky. So if, if I could really add one, one thing, it would be of course the navigation lights. That would make this uh, hands down the most, I mean the best like high wing trainer, I guess there would be, because I, mean, I can't really find anything negative uh, if you just consider this to be a trainer or an airplane. And a very little tip stall tendency also, just a solid performance. You can see it just crawls through the sky, and rock steady also. Of course I have no wind today, so it, it will rock more if you have uh, some kind of a gusty wind. I think you can expect at least 5-6 minutes flight time if you do push it, and if you take it easy, I think 8 minutes is uh, really possible. 
So get, let's get this one down then. Usually it's really, really smooth. Landing on floats. So I mean, just as with floats, this one lands super easy. So I mean, in comparison to many other RC airplanes, I think this is just a fantastic RC airplane. Looks fantastic, flies fantastic, great features. Just as flying with floats, uh, this uh, FMS Kingfisher flies more or less fantastic. There's only one thing I can complain about the, the, this RC airplane, and it's the fact that the rolls are not st uh, as snappy as I'd like. But that's the, the only complaint I, I do have. It's just a it's a really fun and agile RC airplane in all other aspects. Uh, and I, I really dig that you can um, fly this on all surfaces. So, so far I've tried them floats and wheels on this flight. Uh, and, but I have the skis left to fly, so it will be interesting during the winter to actually get this one flying uh, off snow also. So, uh, I mean, I won't say too much about it, that, that this is a, a fantastic RC airplane. Uh, if I could really wish for one added feature, it would certainly be navigation lights. Uh, I can compare this one for a similar sized RC airplane, which is the Arrows Bigfoot. The Arrows Bigfoot uh, is a little bit smaller because it's 1.3 meter wingspan, it's 1.4 meter wingspan RC airplane. But they feel uh, you know, more or less the same size. Uh, I have to say that I, I like the design of the Bigfoot a little bit more and then the Bigfoot does feature LED lights. But the Bigfoot, on the other hand, doesn't come with uh, either floats or skis or anything. And I'm uh, not really certain that you can actually purchase uh, like fitting floats, floats for the Aeros Bigfoot. So if, as far as flying, as far as feature goes, and you can fly on all surfaces, I think this FMS Kingfish is just a fantastic RC airplane. And be sure to watch my float flying as well. Uh, I think this is uh, you know, a safe purchase if you can find one and just uh, fly and have some fun, fun with it.